one of the biggest things I learned is that with persistence and dedication, it is very possible to, to learn almost anything. And you don't really need a university to tell you you learned it. And that was something that was very different for me. I had been in school my whole life. And at that point, I had been in universities for like eight years. And so I was very used to having uh, a university validate my learning experience. But through the Udacity course, I learned that I didn't need that. I just needed the results of my work, uh, the projects that I completed to put in a portfolio to show somebody and say, hey, look, I did this. I learned this and I know how to do it. My name is uh, Dr. Benjamin Stanley. I have a PhD in mathematics and I was previously in academia. I have since transitioned into industry. I'm now a mobile software engineer. I taught at Ohio University for the six years that I attended there as a grad student. What got me into mathematics essentially is, is that I enjoyed solving problems. So, I, I mean, as far back as I can remember elementary school, I really enjoyed just puzzling out the, the solutions to mathematics problems. And then as I got further along in mathematics, uh, once I hit undergrad and started looking at what grad school courses were like, uh, I began to really get into the word problems of mathematics. And I found that they opened me up to a, a whole new world of complicated puzzles that I that I never would have had access to before. I think it was like my third year in grad school, I was I was struck down with a, a fungal infection and that fungal infection caused severe amounts of pain 24-7 uh, all day long for several months. As part of its life cycle, it releases some chemicals that, that interact with your brain chemistry. And so it actually um, made me experience a lot of my life differently in, in, in terms of I experienced fear and anxiety in, in ways that I had never had before. So, so a lot of uh, my perception of the schoolwork I was doing, uh, it, it became something that made me anxious as opposed to uh, th something that used to calm me down. Uh, but outside of that, like as I started to kind of progress past the illness, I, I started to, to view the work I had been doing as pointless. And that really got me thinking about, could I continue to do the things I had been doing? Could I continue to live my life the way that I was? and and end up happy with myself at the end of it and it really started to motivate me to look outside of of the trajectory i had planned for myself uh and you know it kind of made me realize that i wasn't enjoying what i what i had pursued as much as i thought i would and in in terms of you know future goals and long term I, there was no way that it was going to be sustainable for me once i realized that I needed an, an alternative route. I had to figure out what that could be because I had spent all of my life in school and I didn't really have all that many marketable skills despite having a significant education. And anytime I looked at, at um, job postings, I was not qualified, um, which I found to be rather disturbing because I had so much education, uh, but it also woke me up to the fact that I needed to develop a marketable skill. One of my friends came to me and told me he had discovered a Udacity scholarship, and I had never heard of Udacity at this time. But Google apparently had paired with Udacity to fund the learning experience for you know lucky individuals, and uh, I applied immediately. So the scholarship that I uh, was accepted to, they offered the they offered two options: you could study Android Basics or the Android Intermediate Nano degree paths, and I. I felt like because I had some programming experience, but I had no Java experience and, and no Android development experience that I should really start from the ground up. And so I decided to take the Android Basics uh, Nano degree with the knowledge that I would need more, um, more than just what the scholarship would provide to develop that marketable skill, uh, but that the scholarship was at least going to kind of cut my costs in half. The mentors, they were very uh, supportive. They were very uh, responsive to questions. They were very helpful in terms of ma making my project fit the requirements that were set forth uh, by the course. And they were actually really quick at, at doing the, the grading as well. You can learn anything online and it is not too late to switch careers. Like those are the things that I really wanna highlight for people. If you are interested in technology, go try to learn it online like you don't have to enroll in the school and then and quit your job and try to do a school full time like you don't have to do any of that you can just in your free time 
start to learn programming. And if you like it, if you take to it, keep doing it. And eventually you'll have, you'll have enough of a portfolio that you can apply for a job.